example, hour and a half, and a couple of others from the northeast part of town, of the county, I should say. So thank you for driving in, taking time out of your Saturday to come in for this very important training uh, for your, these, your appointment here. I do want to start off by saying, if I can get this thing to work, congratulations first and foremost to all of, all of you. Uh, most of you are appointed, but there's some of you that are also elected. So I want to congratulate you on your elections as well, uh, not just those appointments. Oops, actually, if you get back here. What I want to do first is start off with some introductions. In the back of the room, we have our county commissioner, chairman of the board of county commissioners, Steve Sisolak, in the back there. We give him a round of applause for coming out. Thank you, sir, for coming out as well. Um, I also want to say, are there any planning commissioners here today? No? Okay. Do we have any town board secretaries here today? You could please raise your hand. All right, there's a few of you in here, so just know that they will be working with you, supporting you as town board CAC members throughout your term of, uh, for over the next couple of years. You know, the role of our department, the Department of Administrative Services, and which is the department that I work in, and my name is Alex Ortiz, by the way, is to help you and guide you through these next two years as you meet with your constituent. Uh, you hear from different folks that come before you uh, uh, proposing plans or the issues that are at hand. And our role is to help you with that process. And I do want to, to point out that we have an outstanding team of liaisons that will be working with you over this next couple of years. So all there's eight liaisons. I don't know if you're all right back there. I can kind of see you all. If you, let me start with Tamara. Tamara, if you can please wave your hand up there. <laughs> Tiffany Hesser. Blanca Vasquez. Janice Redondo. Megan Holzer. Sue Baker, <laughs> Kelly Benavides, is that it? And Mike Shannon, oh there's Mike, Mike, and the cameraman, Mike Shannon right there. You know what, let's give another round of applause, because I'll tell you, they're gonna be invaluable to you over the next couple of years. Thank you. And the other thing is this, they actually helped to organize this too, so I hope you enjoy the, the light breakfast, not, not too heavy, but the light breakfast and the refreshments that you have here today. All right, thank you. So. What I want to talk to you a little bit about, just briefly, is a couple of things when, about town boards and CACs, how and when they were formed. Uh, they were formed through NRS and county code, as you can see, they're up on the screen. You are subject to Nevada Open Meeting Law and Nevada Ethics and Government Law. Now, you're going to hear more about that later from a deputy district attorney, okay? So I'm going to kind of go through this a little bit quickly since we're starting a little bit late. TAB members are either elected or appointed. In 2015, Senate Bill 115, passed, which actually required, uh, the way it was written is that essentially in a county of 700,000 uh, population or more, which is Clark County, that has a city of uh, 500,000 or more, which is the city of Las Vegas, if a town board is located 25 miles or more from that location, from the city of Las Vegas essentially, then those town boards would be elected. And we have, of the 19 town boards and citizens advisory council, five of those are elected. Bunkerville, Moapa, Moapa Valley, Searchlight, and Laughlin. Okay, so you that are here from those town boards, you know, uh, most of you, some of you ran and some of you were appointed because we had to fill the remaining uh, seats that were vacant for those that did not run. Um, oh, sorry. I'm not used to this little teleprompter down here. So a couple of things. Uh, as town board and citizen advisory council members, there's a role that you have to play in this. And I think you're gonna hear more about this also later today and throughout the day is your role to assist the Board of County Commissioners in the governance of unincorporated towns or the areas that you represent. Uh, you'll be making some recommendations based on the community input that you receive during your town board and CAC uh, meetings. You're gonna also provide some input regarding the concerns and problems that uh, are, are before you uh, to the, the Board of County Commissioners. And you'll also disseminate that information uh, from, that you receive uh, from the county residents uh, to, the, to the board, uh, but also back from the commission to those residents, because uh, you can also, working with your liaisons, kind of know what the issues are that, the, that our board of county commissioners are, are dealing, uh, working with, and that they will ask their liaisons to communicate to you, and therefore to the constituents in your respective areas. Also, you'll operate under the same rules as the board of county commissioners does, which includes the open meeting law, meeting conduct, and public comment period. And we're going to hear later, like I said, from our deputy district attorney on, on those issues and help educate you on, on what that means to you. 
Remember also your representative of the county and of the respective commissioner of the, <clears throat> excuse me, of the town or the area that you represent. So all these meetings are publicly noticed. They are uh, not videotaped, but they're audio taped. So there's a, a, a audio recording of all of these meetings. Um, and then also your input is invaluable and appreciated, but remember you are advisory, okay? So everything you hear you get from, from your, uh, the constituents out there and your recommendations to the board are in an, an advisory capacity, okay? Now, uh, all of this information, this recording here, because we're actually doing a video recording as you can see, is gonna be available to you on our county website. And that's our county website. You're gonna hear a little bit more about this later as well. Um, that's kind of how to get to it. You access departments, town liaison services, and tab and CAC manual. So if today you don't get everything, which you're gonna hear a lot and get a lot of information today, you will still have an opportunity to go online, uh, view this uh, actual um, training and orientation session, but also see the documents that uh, we're gonna be talking about throughout the day. So with that, so any questions first and foremost from anybody before we do our oath of office? No? Okay. So what we're gonna do next is our oath of office.